The Keystone Positive Change Investment Trust is a trust which has two objectives of equal importance. To invest in high quality growth companies that we believe can deliver attractive investment returns to shareholders and to contribute towards a more sustainable world for current and future generations by investing in companies whose products and services are providing solutions to global challenges. We firmly believe that these two objectives are complementary. It might seem puzzling that after a 24-month period of underperformance and against a backdrop of geopolitical unrest, the ongoing war in Europe, the rising cost of living and more visible evidence of climate change, that I would like to convey that the managers of the trust remain committed to our objectives and optimistic. If anything, the more dismal the backdrop, the brighter the light shone on the need for change. Not only is there a need for change, but there is good reason to believe that change is afoot, thanks to several areas of scientific and technological development. For example, we have a greater understanding of biology through advanced tools which will help us better understand, diagnose, treat, and even prevent disease. Or the rise of precision agricultural tools and techniques, which will help us feed a growing population in a more sustainable way. On top of that, there's the continuous growth in connectivity and the provision of digital tools that increase access to education and financial services. The trust invests in all of these trends through companies like Moderna, Deere and Duolingo. Volatility and uncertainty can be unsettling and they can be distracting. I believe that our sense of purpose provided by our dual objectives provides us with an advantage in such an environment. I'd go as far as to say that our dual objectives provide a clear guiding light in times of chaos. This means that against the worrying backdrop, we have remained focused on assessing the long-term opportunity for portfolio holdings and potential new candidates, rather than trying to estimate what interest rates might be next quarter. We are cognizant of a changing backdrop of tighter monetary policy and rising costs in the context of what these might mean for the long-term prospects of companies, but we're more interested in thinking about the big structural and technological shifts that are driving positive change, because we believe that this will be much more valuable in our search for great growth companies. A combination of desk research and enjoying getting out and about, again, traveling from Copenhagen to San Diego, from Rio to Tokyo, has helped us identify where the volatility is creating opportunities for our shareholders. The first place to search for opportunities is in the existing portfolio. Where has there been a dislocation between market sentiment or share price movements and the fundamental prospects of the companies that we own? A good example of this is Mercado Libre, Latin America's largest e-commerce provider and emerging fintech leader. Despite growing revenues by over 70% per annum in 2020 and 2021 and its competitive position strengthening, its share price fell sharply. We saw this as an opportunity to add to the fund's position. We've also added some new names to the portfolio, such as Duolingo, the online language app, which is broadening out its service offering to include literacy and maths. This is a company that's lowering the barriers to access educational tools, while also having a great opportunity to grow its earnings through expanding its user base and increasing the rate of paying users. Remitly, the mobile-based remittance business, is another new addition to the portfolio. Remitly's share price has declined by around 70% since our initial work at the time of the initial public offering, in stark contrast to its operational progress. So we decided to take a position. Remitly's products allow migrants to transfer money from high-income countries back to their families in low-middle-income countries. Remittances play an important role in socioeconomic development, and Remitly, as a leading provider of mobile-based services, has been gaining share in this important, large and growing market. We're excited about its prospects to grow revenues, become profitable and help many people in doing so. A feature of the investment trust which excites us is its ability to invest in private companies. We've taken a new holding in Climeworks, a Swiss business that has developed direct air capture technology that helps remove CO2 from the atmosphere. If we're to avoid a climate catastrophe, then carbon removal solutions like this will be needed. We don't expect to get all our calls right, and we haven't. So, following reviews and engagement with companies such as Beyond Meat and Alibaba, 
we've decided to move on and sold our positions. While we still believe in the long-term opportunity for plant-based proteins, Beyond Meat made some operational missteps and the competitive advantage proved to be weaker than we hypothesized. For Alibaba, the reasons for selling were based on our impact objective. Following changes to the regulatory and competitive environment and what we learned about the company's business practices, we believe the probability of it contributing towards more inclusive economic development in China is lower than we had originally thought. The team has been delighted to publish Keystone's first impact report. This annual document illustrates Investee Company's progress towards addressing some of the world's most pressing challenges. You can download a copy from the Keystone Positive Change website. We remain resolutely long-term in our outlook, optimistic in our mindset, and committed to driving positive change. The team has a robust pipeline of themes and companies to research over the coming months and years, ranging from carbon capture technologies to increasing access to healthcare in emerging markets. From companies helping us move from a linear to a circular model, to companies that might be able to help smallholder farmers in emerging markets. The previous 250 years or so have seen great progress through the industrial and digital revolutions, but these have created problems for people and planet, climate change, biodiversity loss, and rising inequalities. Addressing these problems is the right thing to do. It also provides a tremendous growth opportunity. Maybe the next 250 years will be the sustainability revolution, and the Keystone Positive Change shareholders can play a part in that.